What's up guys, Rob here and welcome back to the promotion project. Last time out we took a painful defeat to Chelsea 1-0 at home and since then we've been doing alright. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to push towards those 100 subs as soon as we can. So you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and yeah we'll get right into it. So as I said we've been on a, a, an exceptional run to be honest. We've played what eight games since you seven games since you were last here, and we've only drawn one of them. We haven't lost any. It's been a fantastic run. In terms of league form, we've played some relatively easy teams to be honest. We beat Villa 4-0, West Ham 3-0, drew with Leeds, which was a dis bit disappointing, but away from home a point still good. And then we beat Red in 2-0. So some good results in the league. Cups wise, what can I say? We've done it again. We are in the Carabao Cup final and it is a rematch. We played Liverpool at Wembley last season and we will be playing them there again this year. So that's going to be a Cup special episode, probably next episode to be fair. Um, so that's something to look forward to. In the FA Cup, we actually managed to beat Crew as well, as expected really. And that puts us through to a home game against West Ham. So another relatively favourable draw to be honest. In the fifth round of the FA Cup, heading towards the, not the sort of real business end of the tournament. But that Carabao Cup game, what a game that was. It ended up finishing, it was 10-9 on penalties, I think it was. If we take a look at all the penalty takers, we scored every single penalty of ours. We scored 10 penalties. 10 penalties. And Arsenal missed their 10th. It was absolutely crazy. We ended up coming out on the right side of that result, though. And as I say, that puts us through to a rematch of last year's Cup final with Liverpool at the end of next month. So, a good spot there. In, the, in terms of where we are in the league, we currently sit 7th in the league after 18 games. So this game will take us to the halfway stage. We do play Man City, so this is a massive, massive game. They sit one point behind the same amount of games. A win here would put us in a fantastic position to finish in the European spots. Um, as you can see, Van der Voort actually has the most clean sheets in the league, which is testament to how well we've been doing, how well our tactics been working. And we have also strengthened defensively as well. If we go to transfer histories here, as you can see, we've made a big splash on a centre-back. Ivan Corbelli, signed from Inter Milan for £30 million. He's, only, he's literally just turned 18. This will be his debut today, I think. Um, signed as a central defender, only 18 years old. His physicals are absolutely phenomenal and he's very, very good in the key areas. So we've brought him in as a future prospect, but also as a starting centre-back. And with us using three centre-backs, he slots nicely into the middle between Papetti and Arian Bai. This isn't the team we're going to use. We're playing around with some tactics, but we'll get the tactics sorted for the game in a second. In terms of other transfers, we have actually made quite a few sales. If we swap those around, we actually sold Todd Cantwell. We didn't... We were I'm in an R in about this one, but £30 million was the offer from Gangzhou in China. Crazy money. We couldn't really turn it down. He's not been playing that much, and realistically, he's not going to break back into the team. So £30 million was too good to turn down. He wanted to leave anyway, so it was a good deal all round. Sorensen has also gone to Gangzhou in China for £11.75 million. So again, another really good fee. Could go up to nearly £16 million as well. So making money on him, again, a player that was... A good depth player, but not really playing a huge amount. And the other main transfer to go out is Timu Puki has gone to RC Lens. And this says loan, but it actually, if he plays 15 games this season, it becomes a permanent deal for about £6 million. So again, uh, he's a very good player. He's 32 years old, so he's heading towards the end of his career. And to cash in for sort of £5.5 million, it was just too good a money to turn down, really. He's only He only played, I think, about three or four games this season, so really not played much. We've cashed in on him and got some good money back, so it's all good for him, really. That leaves us financially. It is the end of the transfer windows today, so I can't see there being a huge amount more business. Don't really need anything at the moment. And that leaves us financially sound. We've actually got £75 million in the budget not used, a couple of hundred thousand in the wage budget, so we're in good position, ready for a, a big push in the summer to try and get those last few pieces that might take us to the Champions League next season. But with all that covered, we are going to go right ahead. We have a live con game against Man City, who sit one place below us in the league. Can we take the three points and push ourselves higher up into the European places? Let's go and find out. 
Right, here we go then. Norwich versus Man City. It is a massive game in the context of the season. A team that historically we haven't done very well against, so it's going to be a difficult one. A win here puts us in sixth place, clear of Man City, and five points clear of West Ham for the, for the European spot. So it's a big game. It is a big game. It puts us on the brink of Champions League football as well. 15 minutes gone. Nothing has happened. This is a first highlight, playing out from the back. Aaron's, who has been sensational this season. Leonardo's in. Oh, he's played the wrong ball there. Man City have fire. Oh, they've just got firepower everywhere. They just signed Declan Rice for £95 million in January. Jao Felix, Theo Hernandez, they just spend money. Lautaro Martinez, De Bruyne, it's an unreal team. Absolute joke of a team. Lautaro just owed for what on earth has happened there. Off the bar, maybe? We're doing alright though, nil nil after twenty minutes. We've given debut to our new sign in, have we? Yeah, oh is what is this team lineup showing? It's got Corbelli at centre back, but in between the midfielders. So yeah, Corbelli on debut. No many not many other changes other than that idol with a header just over. System's been working well for us. We've won a lot of games over the last six or seven games, so we're sticking with it today. Oh, Ruben Diaz off the bar from Sterling. I think he was offside anyway. No, he wasn't. Goal kick. So, living on the edge there. That team is just crazily good. Louise as well. Is that oh, Florentino Louise? I thought it was going to be Douglas, but their team's a joke. Who have they got on the bench? I'm assuming they've signed more players for the bench as well. They have. They've got Frank Kessie on the bench from AC Milan. Tammy Abraham's there. Reyes. It's just ridiculous. And it's nil-nil at half-time. We would take a point all day long here, to be honest. A point would be a great result. Three points would be unbelievable. But we'll take a point. Let's keep it going for the second half. Pretty even game so far. Eight shots to seven shots in our favour. Here is Aaron's then, down the right-hand side. Really thriving in that wing-back role. Demir has been top, top draw as well. I think he scored a hat-trick a couple of games ago. From, out from the uh, right wing. He's been phenomenal for us. Here's Aaron's then. Drives the ball across. Calafiori has scored. The full-back has scored. Loops a header over to the back post. And the full-backs have linked up there. Well, yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. Did not think that was going in at all. Aaron's driving at the box. That's a, it's a great bad header in the end from Calafiore. He lobs in at the far corner and we are 1-0 up. Come on, don't concede immediately. Get it away for now. Florentino, though, picks it up. Out to Ruben Diaz. De Bruyne. Cancelo. Oh, they're shifting it around. I don't feel good about this. Beats Musa. Can't get a ball in, though, and Calafiore picks it up. Gets it away for us. Could the counter-attack be on? It could be Leonardo. Into the box. Still got it. Still got... Oh, just wide. Just wide. Good run, though. I love it. 1-0 up. 40 minutes to play. This would be a massive result for us. Uh, Calafiori is absolutely knackered. So, Placetta is going to come on at left mid. He is one player that will probably look to move on in the summer. We'll try and get a bit more quality at left wing back or whatever we've got. So... Demir is also looking tired, so Martin's going to come on on the wing. 20 minutes to play. Another goal here would be massive. Buendia with the corner. Headed back to him by Florentino. Edge of the box. Arian by. Buendia. Oh, don't play it backwards. Not that far back. Come on, boys. Arian by on the wing. Not really where we want to see him. Musa heading the wrong direction. Oh, all the way back to the keeper. 25 minutes to go. Come on. Not even 25, 15, sorry. 15 minutes to go. Cancelo coming forward now for City. Sterling with it. They've just got star power all over the pitch. Ferran Torres off the bench. Into the box. <sighs> Into the side net. And he really should have been square in that. We've got away with one there. Um, one more sub. I think Moose is going to come off and Bernardo is going to come on in centre mid. We've got a few tired players here. Ten minutes to play. It's almost time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to do it anyway. Very defensive. Time wasting on 
assuming we don't concede here, this might ruin it all. Sterling on the attack. Aaron's does well, to be fair. On a yellow card, so you need to be a little bit careful. Oh, it's rubbish. It's rubbish. Given straight to Cancelo. Oh my goodness. Off the bar and we get away with it for now. That's uh, a little bit too close for my liking. A couple of minutes to go though. We're looking good for a result here. We would move into fourth place with a win. That would be massive. A couple of minutes of injury time left. Surely we can see it out. 30 seconds to play. Come on. There we go. What a result that is. We've not been in good form in live comms, but wow. A 1-0 win against Man City at home, and we are into the Champions League spots. Don't know what else to say, really. What an unbelievable result that is. Halfway point of the season, and we are in the Champions League spots. Incredible. Right, looking at when we're going to come back next. I think we will come back next for the Carabao Cup final against Liverpool. Can we go back to back against them and win it two years on the trot at Wembley? Elsewhere, we've got top of the league Liverpool next. We've got a couple of tough games. Arsenal in there as well. Four away games on the bounce, which is going to be tricky. So hopefully we can navigate those and stay in and around the Champions League spots. And then we'll be back for a Carabao Cup final. So I will see you all at Wembley.